didn't take me long to work out that that eyesight was a uh, good require, or requirement and uh, that I was uh, probably better at identifying identifying fingerprints that quickly than the either of the two experienced men were there because their eyesight wasn't quite so good. So, so when I um, got into the period of authority, I made sure that all the all the identification jobs went to the younger men so they had a chance they could see better. No, there wasn't a five-year apprenticeship in those days. The, 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 all the expert evidence was given by the OC until uh, I think until I got uh, in charge of the fingerprints when I was allowed fellows who were doing the job to give the expert evidence after they had five years service. There's a book to read. There was a, a book written, written by a fellow named Henry of New Scotland Yard and that, that was the book there and that was the one that told you about the normal classification of fingerprints. Later on there was a, another fellow from Scotland Yard named Batley who had developed a system of identifying single fingerprints instead of having a whole ten. That was uh, firstly the Henry book and then the Batley book and that was uh, that was their training, they gave, they gave books to read. Oh, they were identifying fingerprints uh, quite early in the piece, you know, and after there was no, no real time identifying fingerprints, we identified, you'd throw them over to the uh, one of the senior fellows to check to make sure that you were right, but that was all. Well, you had, they had a, a thick slab and there was some printer's ink and a, a rubber roller and you put spots of ink on it and roll the, roll the ink out on the slab and get a very film, thin film of ink on the slab and then you put the, put the fingers on the slab, get the ink on them and then put them on the form. Well, in that, that case was, we used um, maker and chalk. When I first went there we used um, a very light powder that you threw on the print and blew the thing off and it left the, it left the uh, outline of the print and then you carefully brushed that off and put some um, mercury and chalk on to make it more permanent. But that had a great risk of damaging the print when you were working on lycopodium off. And so we gave that use of lycopodium away altogether and went straight to putting mercury and chalk on.